What's up, y'all? And welcome to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into these baddies for the week. Okay, so we start the episode out with them in the club. They partying. They look like they having a ball. I can't even lie. I love it. Um, But here's the problem. Here is why I'm... I, I, you know... At first, when the situation with Suki and Sapphire happened, I was completely pro Suki. I said, Sapphire, you did that motherfucker wrong. You did her wrong. You shouldn't have never let E.T. And I still do agree with that part of it. You shouldn't have never let E.T. sit up and throw that drink at that girl, knowing good and well that you didn't want to fight E.T. You know what I'm saying? And then... The what made it so bad was it wasn't so bad that you didn't want to fight her because I wouldn't want to fight this gremlin either. But what made it so bad is that you started an argument with Suki in the middle of all of it. You know what I'm saying? You sat up and somehow you thought the way to divert your energy from having to fight E.T. was to um start yelling at suki and that was absolutely crazy you sitting up yelling her you chill out all in this girl face and that's crazy when <laughs> you know what i'm saying the the thing should be you know your friend i i get you not want to jump in when she was fighting roly you didn't have to jump in when she was fighting roly suki you little but you a big girl you see and you see roly an even bigger girl so you know that when you start some stuff with her and you getting all in this girl face and that girl bum rush you you know what's up and the reason i don't fault her for not jumping in when suki and roly fought was because a lot of people like to say oh roly beat suki up she really didn't people don't clock roly t roly like to fight like a sumo wrestler in the beginning of the fight roly loved to bum rush you real hard bum rush you real quick throw you up against something but here's the thing after she do all that she tired big mama ready to you know she tired at that point and once she had suki up against that wall and i like how she kept having to bring that up i threw you up against that fucking wall security had to come get me up off of you yeah but that's what they was doing pulling you up off of her because you was tired at that point suki wore your, the top of your motherfucking head out right in between them knots she wore the top of your head out when she was pinned up against that wall. And she's right. Suki got more stamina than you. She was still had energy. She could still fight with you. And you was tired. It just looked like you was jumbled up in a mess of security. And they trying to yank you around from the middle of this fight. It was crazy. But I do believe that, you know, if your friend into a fight with somebody, especially somebody, you know, she caught off guard and somebody sit up and throw a drink on her. And then, you know, why she arguing with somebody else? Honey, you need to jump in. I don't give a damn if you start cussing somebody out. I don't give a damn what you start doing. Jump in, jump out. Turn this thing about. Come on now. Don't leave me out here by myself, especially if I'm one of the main reasons why you on this show. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for me, I wouldn't even be on her. Now, my wig yanked off. I'm on TV. This bitch calling me Tracy Morgan. The nerve with her legs are like chopsticks. This bitch sitting up calling me Tracy Morgan. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even have to be arguing with her, Mariah, and her motherfucking cavities. Natalie, I didn't have to be arguing with none of these bitches, but I did it off the strength of getting you on her because you my friend. And the least that you could do is if you see me fighting with a bitch and another bitch jump in, is you jump in and have my back. What made it worse is that Sapphire, once the situation died down and y'all went to y'all separate sprinters, well, after you got put off of Suki Sprinter, you went on Natalie Nim Sprinter and you started kind of talking negatively about Suki. And you could have redeemed yourself if you would have got on there and you would have been like, yeah, this was a fucked up situation. But let me say this, E.T., you was dead ass motherfucking wrong for throwing that fucking drink at Suki. Period. You shouldn't have threw no water, no drink, no spit. Lord knows don't nobody want nothing that came out of your mouth on their face, body. None of that. It might melt. Don't throw nothing and nobody but you didn't even do that you got on here making a scene that at the end of the day that's supposed to still be my sister that's done but see 
I got to give you a little piece of grace because in this episode, look what happened in the beginning. And this, I've learned this from personal experience, y'all. It is very dangerous to jump into the middle of other people's beef because you jump in the middle of other people's motherfucking beef. And what happened? They make up. Now, you still mad at a motherfucker, but they friends now. They done made up. Kissing, hugging, touching. It's crazy. Because... <laughs> Because you see Sapphire over around to the club looking like, ain't this a bitch? So deep. <laughs> okay. And it's it's really crazy because I know she wanted to just really be like, see? Now, this is why I didn't want to jump the fuck in. And I get why you didn't want to jump in with her and Rolly, But Sapphire, you should have jumped in when E.T. threw that fight. Moving on. House B looks like they are such a fucking vibe. I don't care what nobody say. House B just seems like they are, you know, the, all of these girls like to get in these houses and preach stuff like, this is sisterhood. This ain't no fucking sisterhood, bitch. This is war. We are in here doing battle every day for our fucking life until we get out of this fucking house and that's period. It's not no sisterhood. It's a, but, 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 but. It is a few of them that actually do become closer than the other ones. And I feel like that's House B. I feel like every time we see House B, they are bringing so much good energy, vibes. These bitches making up songs. Meanwhile, we see House A, they having a roundtable discussion about who finna be who's ass next. And that is my prime problem with them. That's why they can't get past so much of this motherfucking shit it wasn't even too much house b was talking about so we're not even gonna dive too deep into that next you got the house a girls like i said what they doing having a round couch because ain't no table discussion about what the hell is going on in this b now i have been on the fence about mariah for these past couple of episodes but i'm gonna just say this I don't understand what the fuck they are so fucking mad at Mariah for. Mariah ain't did nothing worse than what no fucking body else is doing. And it's really giving me, no shade, I hate to even say this, but it's really giving me y'all bullying all the white girls off the show. Think about it. You had Vicky, they got her up off of her in two seconds. Smiley, they done been fucking with her until they got her to fuck off. They even bullied that girl out of a fucking seizure. Seriously. Then you got Mariah. And it just seemed like, excuse me y'all, if y'all hear my heat, don't worry about it. But it's just like everything the girl doing, she's not doing nothing worse than what nobody else doing. It's like she'll have a round table that y'all be sitting there talking and Mar everybody will be chiming in on everybody else drama. Oh yeah, this person shouldn't have said that. This person shouldn't have said that. Well, I shouldn't have said As soon as Mariah say, yeah, I agree. Hey, no, Mariah, you need to stop flip-flopping. You need to stop doing it. You pillow talk too much. See, that's your motherfucking problem. What? <laughs> what? Like, the girl can't say nothing. She can't say a fucking thing. She supposed to just sit here like fucking furniture in these scenes. Why are y'all so mad? And why do y'all consider every time Mariah say something the, that she's, getting in somebody else's business and literally y'all y'all literally put together scenes where y'all sit around together and y'all talk about each other y'all say stuff you even had natalie saying stuff like she feels like suki plays both sides but she feels like she only does it because she's not there a lot of the time and she don't really know what's going on don't matter you still said you feel like suki plays both sides that's still talking negatively about suki i don't care then they try to mask it and say like no, the problem ain't that, you know, the problem ain't that we all don't talk about, because we all do talk about Suki, but we tell her to her face what we say, and Mariah, you just go around pillow talking, and I feel like that is some bullshit. You not gonna motherfucking tell me that y'all go back, and y'all literally tell Suki every motherfucking thing, that y'all don't go back and tell nobody every little piece of a thing that was said about them in these fucking scenes, and nobody ain't gonna make me believe that y'all do, I don't care. You are not going to ever get me to believe that anytime somebody, y'all have one fucking conversation, it's a person from that scene going back and downloading. You're going to download bits and pieces of what you think is important because that's human nature. That's what we do. We don't go around telling the whole motherfucking story of what happened from start to finish because for one, we can't remember it like that. And for two, it don't matter. The important shit matter. 
That bitch said you stank, you ugly, you farted. And that's what it is. Forget all the other little, little filler shit where she said, you know, yesterday you didn't you didn't stink as much when you farted. Or yesterday, you know what I'm saying? You know, forget all that. This is just the point of what we're telling you. And that's what's going on. But I just don't understand why it is that they are holding Mariah to the fire so much more than they holding all these other girls to the fire. That is really what's blowing me. Because Mariah had been getting on my motherfucking nerves too. I'm not even going to hold you. Um, but the only reason why Mariah had been getting on my nerves was because she keep on trying to do these these uh, jokes in these confessionals that she think I, I finna be iconic. Or I don't know if she's trying to make a TikTok moment where she think people are going to be going viral using her voiceovers or something. But they all fucked up. None of them work. None of them sound good. I think that's general across the board. I ain't heard no, I ain't seen one remake. I ain't heard one person say Mariah clown when she said this. So we just going to let that speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? But aside from that, why y'all don't like Mariah? And why are y'all, besides her and all these hoes in her mouth, why are y'all so upset with Mariah? Okay. Anyway. So, in the scene, you get her defending herself, as she should, because don't let these bitches sit up and play with you. It don't matter. Don't let them play with you, because once they keep on playing, they already playing with you real bad. Once they keep on doing that and they see that they can, you know that they are, it's only going to get worse. So, Mariah jump up like a noodle, popped up. Y'all not going to keep assassinating my character. Y'all not going to keep assassinating my camera. I'm not doing this with y'all. And I feel her. Girl, just get on up out of her. Because we all know that this is some bullshit. Especially coming from Sapphire. Sapphire, what the fuck are you doing? And we, if we have to hear this speech one more time about you owe your friend a lot. Because you didn't do as much as you supposed to do. All of us, I think, are going to come and want to fight you. Because why, I don't. we don't want to keep hearing that you, you fucked up. You didn't do it. We all said you didn't do it. And you can't take it back. But what don't make it cute is going to pick on Mariah to try to make it back. And it kind of looked like that's what you're doing. Because I don't believe that Mariah has been plotting on Suki. What the fuck would she be plotting on Suki for? I don't know. What is she plotting on Suki for? For real. Like, I, I don't understand that. I really just feel like y'all picking on her. She's an easy target right now. And y'all are picking on her because I believe that all of y'all have been having conversations and all of y'all have been talking about each other, you know, and none of it is all making back to the person that y'all talking to it about. It, it's just none of it is, you know? So it's not fair to pinpoint one person. Lord, did y'all see how E.T. was holding Rolly back on that belly? She had her hand around that belly. Look. <laughs> but Rolly, you ought to be ashamed of yourself trying to bum rush that girl like that. Leave her alone. Don't fight her. You know, you already, I mean, really, we can't really say nothing because anybody really going to fight, we're going to try, we're going to have to really chalk it up to, you know, she's bigger than them because Rolly's bigger than everybody on the cast. So, I mean, we're going to have to, at some point, stop using the whole Rolly, you too big for that. But I just feel like Mariah, you too big for that. Now, we got to stop this shit somewhere. And I feel like you are too big for that one. You're going to have to really leave her alone. Um, seriously, y'all get the arguing, going outside to the bus or whatever. The arguments spill over outside. Rolly, you really wilding, throwing stuff at her for no and look reason. look at your toe. The girl, honestly, you could tell by the way she's acting, by her demeanor. She does not want to fight Rolly. She's trying her best to get away from fighting Rolly. And Rolly, you just keeping on storming up on her. And that don't make that shit look no better. Like, you marching up and trying to hit on her and shit. And then you throwing stuff at her. That's not cool. Come on. That's not cool. Don't throw no shit at nobody. Because you don't want nobody throwing no motherfucking shit at you. Period. Point blank. So anyway, they get to the... Shaka. Um, I forget what it's called. 
But they get there. Everybody look cute. I'm not even going to lie. And they look like they were having an absolute ball. This is one of the times where they were able to put all the motherfucking differences, all the bullshit to the side. And they was all able to just kind of hang around. And well, I think it's because they was probably separate on them separate. And what is Bobby doing? Is he part of the cast now? What is Bobby doing here? Hi. Or drunk, whatever the fuck he is, but his eyes don't, his motherfucking eyeballs are going left and right. I don't, what is Bobby doing? <laughs> he is funny though. He's good TV. So I honestly don't even mind seeing him because he's really good TV. But yeah, they turning up on the boats, on the little um, rafts or whatever. They getting the mud massages. Everything seems to be going good until Suki. And Sapphire start picking on Mariah for no motherfucking reason. Talking about her motherfucking coochie thing. Now, how y'all know? How y'all know? Who face been down there? Talking about that girl coochie stink. And Suki, you ought to be ashamed of yourself because that girl going to holler your pussy stink and you going to holler it do and it's still going to get A. Like Mariah said, I don't agree with her much, but baby, that ain't cute to say. Okay? And when you going to close your legs up? Stop. Let me move on. But anyway, they start picking on Mariah, talking about her coochie stink. Biggie, I am here for Biggie. Biggie is a vibe right now. Because Biggie on this, on this rap, drunk than a motherfucker. High than a motherfucker. Happy than a motherfucker. <laughs> That's all you hear is Biggie's ass throat laughing. Okay? <laughs> I ain't mad at it. That's all you heard. But wait, did y'all hear the part where she was like, uh... Yes, it does. It's crazy. <laughs> yes, it does. It's crazy when old girls. <laughs> when old girls said, Mariah, they say your coochie stink, does it? And Mariah said, no, it don't. And Suki said, yes, it does. That shit was funny, though, because Biggie just didn't give a fuck. She was just lit at that point. And I feel like they all should have kind of been lit at that point. But. You know, they just letting silly shit get all in the way of them having a good motherfucking time. So, okay, we get to the end of the um of the ride. And here goes Sapphire, Suki, and Mariah arguing. I honestly felt bad for Mariah because Mariah was trying her best to just talk like a, an adult. And Suki's in the water yelling some bullshit on this motherfucking raft. Sapphire, I don't know what she was doing. Keep going down there. I guess she caught herself not wanting Suki to come up and fight um, Mariah herself. So she kept kicking Suki's raft away from coming up on shore. Or she was already plotting on pulling Mariah in that water. I don't know. Either way, it just was pointless. Like, you doing a whole lot of motherfucking arguing and shit. And y'all should have been done just did this shit by now. If you're going to fight the girl, go on and fight the girl. Although you fighting her for some stupid reasons. Because once again, we get this motherfucking speech about you not being there for your best friend. But I do believe Mariah, when she said... Everybody been saying stuff. We all been saying stuff. It ain't like it just been one person saying stuff. And every time she do that, that's how you know it's got to be some truth to it. Because y'all want to cut her off. That's when Rowley got up and bun rushed her. Y'all want to cut her the fuck off anytime she say that. No. She's saying that shit for a reason. Because y'all all have been sitting up and making comments and talking about Suki. And I don't think it's all been negative. But the fact of the matter is, it's going to be taken in a negative connotation anytime... It's a group of people and there are conversations, hidden conversations about one person individually and you have little bits and pieces coming back from every every which away. You got a little piece coming back from her. You got a little piece coming back from her. But then also you got this one yelling out, we all was talking about her. Everybody was talking about it. So now it is looked at as a negative connotation to it. You know, when honestly in girlfriend code, it is okay. Even if like you're saying, girl, yeah, oh girl was in a mood today. She was on my nerve. It's okay to do that. And to we have got to normalize being adults and being able to have adult conversations without it being looked at as, oh, pussy, ho, you was talking about me behind my back. 
No, I was just venting because I had a bad day within our friendship. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you was on one. We all are mutual friends. We all on this. In their case, I don't think they're all mutual friends. But, girl, we all having this experience together. We all on this show together right now. And so why not be able to go and bounce ideas or bounce conversation off of the next person without it being looked at as being negative? Why Cause y'all are bitches that always want to twist up some shit and get a storyline going. And that's why it's always so much motherfucking drama. But anyway, we always tune in for it. Bitch, we even paying for it. We paying Zeus a motherfucking subscription for it. So we ain't going we ain't going to really get too bit much into it. Cause I mean, we going to tune back into it, you know? So it really ain't no need. Next week look like it's going to kind of be good. Up and I don't know though. I think it's the finale. It looks kind of lackluster up until Suki getting into it with somebody. Girl, you look too cute with your titties sitting up to your chin to be in here starting no shit. But we gonna see who it is she hollering at because I don't even think they show who it is that she's arguing with. They got us on an old cliffhanger. But we're gonna talk about it when that drop. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.